Hi and welcome to Day We Craft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Japanese style apron. You're going to need newspaper, tape, a pencil, a measuring tape, some sewing scissors, and some fabric. I have this lovely mustard coloured cotton. Pins, tailor's chalk and a sewing machine. Oh and some thread. I did actually find some yellow thread later. I'm going to start off by creating a pattern template. The measurements I need are widest part of the hip, knee length to collar, chest, hip to shoulder, and I also just added five inches onto the shoulder measurement. This is because when you cross the straps over at the back, the shoulder seam isn't actually right on the top of the shoulder. You can see the shoulder measurements, actually those little dots, and we don't want the seam we're there, we want it further back. Okay, so we're going to start by taking the newspaper and we're going to be unfolding as many pieces as is required for the size of apron that you're making. Attach the pieces securely together with tape. Cellar tape or masking tape works fine. Next, you want to transfer all of your measurements onto the paper template. I found this easier by folding it in half first and then just halving the measurements. Use paper scissors for this. If I see anyone using fabric scissors on paper, you're dead to me. That might be a pocket. Okay, when you undo it, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, you've done it wrong. I attached the shoulder seams together just with some tape to give me a better idea of its finished look. Use Taylor's chalk to transfer the design onto the fabric. And then use sewing scissors to cut it out. I folded over the straps and pinned it up the shoulders again, just so I could try it on for one last test. If there are any adjustments that you want to make, then now's the time to do it. Fold over a half inch of fabric and iron. Do this all the way around, except on the shoulder seams. Those don't need folding. Once I did it all the way around once, I then repeated the process to create a double seam. I want this apron to last me a long time and I'm going to help it do that by making sure it's as well made as possible. Thread your sewing machine and sew all the way around. Try and keep as close to the edge of the seam as possible. For those of you who are keen eyed, yes I do realise that I put my pins in the wrong way round and I had to pull them out. Um, the wrong way while I was going around. It was really annoying. <laughs> you can see in some areas where you've sewn it sort of bubbled up, uh, but running the iron over this will sort that out. Fold over the straps and pin at the shoulder seam, leaving a one inch allowance. Run this through your machine forwards and backwards to give it strength. Snip off the excess from one side of the seam. And then fold the other side over itself to neaten it. I'm just gonna hand sew it to secure, just because, well, I thought it was gonna be easier. And it was. And there's the finished Japanese style apron. I might put some pockets on it at a later date, but I'm not entirely sure. Yes, we all know how proud you are. Get off the stage, you poser. If you like this video and would like to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification button. See you later.